What is up? You know who it is. Kenny KO back with another video, boys. Shirt off, pants down. Let's go. This video is powered by Generation Iron. Also, make sure to check out Enhanced Athlete. Use my discount code Kenny15 to save you some money on some supplements that'll actually get you results. And also, don't forget to check out LWP Gains 2 as well. And without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump to the video of today the future of bodybuilding or the future of classic physique, basically the guy who is going to save the division and save the bodybuilding world from extinction and dying out is going to be, in my opinion, Chris Bumstead. So this last weekend, guys, I was at the Olympia Expo for the competition both Friday, Saturday, all the way through until I flew back on Monday. And I actually had the pleasure of meeting Chris and also seeing him compete on stage for the classic physique division. He ended up placing second guys for those of you who didn't know in the show and in my opinion I think he should have placed first. It was definitely very close but still nonetheless he came out of nowhere basically guys okay. No one really expected him to kind of come up and do this well in the show. You know maybe there's a few people out there who had predicted him coming up and placing that well but you know to come all the way to second but if you look at Chris Bumstead here guys insane physique the ideal classic physique in my opinion not only does he have the great physique he's a taller guy he's around I want to say the height of Arnold Schwarzenegger which in my opinion you know not everyone's gonna think the same as me obviously but in my opinion the guys that are muscular and have the good proportions that are also taller are great poster boys or great um, basically faces to the Olympia to use and I think that they're gonna catch on to that next year and especially because he's so young guys and hits his posing and everything so well and his conditioning was on point I think he is actually gonna be able to take the title next year now I'm gonna make that prediction now I'm gonna think Chris Bumstead is gonna end up winning the Olympia in 2018 so I will be there as well next year to check it out, but go ahead and look at this guy. As you can see, he brought the conditioning, like I said. He's got some insane wheels and legs. He's got the vascularity, the condition I was talking about, but he also brings a tiny waist and great proportions on both the lats, the shoulders, and the chest. And it's very reminiscent if I had to pick any physique of Arnold, like I said, due to the height, due to even the facial structure, and then also the physique as well. And he can also nail a vacuum pose. I'll see if he got the um, video here, but you can see him hitting the vacuum a little bit here. Look how tiny his waist is, guys. There's no bubble gut. There's an incredible physique. I think this is what bodybuilding should become. You know, obviously there's going to be the mass monsters out there, the guys that want to be, you know, the freakiest, biggest guys on stage. And I think they'll do well, but I think if anything was to save the sport and have people aspire to look like something, I feel like this is the overall physique that most people are going to strive to want to be. Here we've got another picture of him. I'm not sure if it says how far out from competition over here, but I wanted to bring this picture up because you can see he's got extremely strong abdominal muscles, but then also nails the vacuum. Probably, if not the best, than anyone I've ever seen ever hit a vacuum. I don't know. I can't really recall off the top of my head anyone I've ever seen hit a vacuum pose better than Chris Bumstead. So huge props to him for that because the vacuum itself is so incredibly hard to hit. Here it is guys, okay, perfect. This is the image I wanted to show. I knew I saw it somewhere. You guys can see, look at this, look at that vacuum. Look how tiny the waist is into just the massive wheels, well proportioned on all three heads of the legs. Um, like I said, the conditioning is on point, small waist, nails the classic physique posing of the old school golden era days. Great serratus, you even see vascularity on his lats. A great full chest, and like I said guys, just an overall great physique, and not to mention, obviously no homo. He is a very attractive guy, which is gonna help him in the long run, especially for, you know, Olympia. Obviously they want the crazy physiques and the best physiques, but if you're an attractive individual with a great physique, you're gonna be the perfect poster child to promote and to help bring the sport back. So really I made this video, guys, because as soon as I got done watching the show and meeting Chris and seeing that he's an incredible bodybuilder who's also tall, which is extremely hard, and with how young he is, he's only 22 years old, guys. So 
you can just imagine what he's going to look like in just one more year of time. You know, the amount of size he's probably going to put on and have lean muscle. And then in a couple years and even further on down the road, the potential for this guy is just endless. So I wanted to go ahead and make a video. Most of you probably didn't really know who he was until maybe you watched the Olympia or maybe you are following him already. But he's from Canada came to the Olympia, had the pleasure of meeting him, super humble, awesome dude, and my prediction will win the 2018 Classic Physique and save the future of bodybuilding. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, stay shredded, stay aesthetic, signing out.